Let's make this project left-handed. Now that you've made my great bucket hat with the Mobius twist, we can add the flower accent. Let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, back to show you the little flower accent that goes on my Mobius twist, bucket hat, or sun hat, or cloche, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can probably put this on just about any little hat or anything that you wanted to, but let's make this little flower. You're going to want a toggle button, a two and a half millimeter hook, and as always, you want some stitch markers. So I'm using this Babe Jazz Euro Baby. This is fun. This is a really fun one. I hadn't used this before. This is a three weight and it wants me to use a four and a half to a five millimeter hook which is way too big I think for this. I'm using a two and a half millimeter. Just a little one. Just a little little one so we can get nice tight stitches for our flower. And also I think you would be able to use any sock yarn because it's so light this is a super fine, but there really isn't very much of a difference between these. I don't believe that this is really a three weight. It seems so thin, but we're going to go with this one today. But if you have sock yarn around, this will work wonderfully and you can get lots of great colors in sock yarn. So that's really fun. So I'm going to use my Babe Jazz and this color is called Fun House, which is so fun to say even. It's Fun House. So we'll set this guy aside. We're going to need that in a little bit. Remember, we're using a two and a half millimeter hook, which is a tiny hook, but it's going to get nice tight stitches. So we're going to start out with a slip knot. Any old way you make a slip knot, it's fine by me. And chain eight, seven, and eight. Now we just want to slip stitch into the very first chain. So we have a loop. Now we have a little loop. We're going to work into this loop now. So we're chain one and single crochet 23 into this loop right here and work around that beginning tail if you can. I am going to mark this first stitch as I always do because I'm a stitch marker lover. All right, so there's the single crochet number one. We want 23 total. So let's go all the way around. Add 23 to this chain or to this ring. Two, three. All right, there's our first. There's 23 in our ring right there. So that was round one. Round one's really, really easy. Okay, now we want to slip stitch into that first into our chain one that we did. It's a sneaky little stitch to find, especially with such a tiny hook. But we want to slip stitch right there. Can pull this a little bit tighter. Okay, round two. There we go. It's hard to work with this tiny stuff sometimes. So here's chain three and then chain eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the first three was a double crochet and the last eight was, was a chain eight. We're going to go back down here. We're going to skip two. So here's the first one to skip and a double crochet into this guy right here. And chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And do the same thing again. Skip two. One, two skip, skip, and double crochet into that one right there, the third. 
the third one over. There's a double crochet. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Skip two, one, two, double crochet into the third one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. Skip, skip, double crochet. Chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Skip two, double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chains. Skip two, one, two. So we're going to skip, 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 double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight chains. And a double crochet again. So skip. Skip, double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to make our eighth petal. So there's chain eight. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we want two. slip stitch into the third chain on our original one. When we made a chain three plus the eight, we want to slip stitch into this one right here. Slip stitch into the third chain up. One, two, three. There you go. There's the base for our little flower or a little pinwheel. I like to call it a pinwheel because it doesn't look exactly like a flower, but it looks a perfectly like a pinwheel. So that was round two. We just made the base for our petals. So let's make the first petal. Okay, right in this space where the big chain is, we're going to single crochet 12 in this chain eight space right here. Single crochet 12. One, two, and 12. All right, there's part of this. There's part of the petal. There's the first 12 in the eight chain the chain 8 space. Now we're going to single crochet around the double crochet post right here. So we're just going to turn our work a smidge so we can get to that post that's connected to the center ring and go six double crochet or six single crochets around that. One Two, three, four, five, and six. So we did twelve here and six there. And then next we want to slip stitch into the base of our double crochet that's on this, that's in our very central part. In the very center right here, we want to slip stitch into the base of this double crochet. So we're just going to slip stitch into there just to anchor those stitches a little bit. Make sure that that flower 
petal stays where it's supposed to be. I'm going to chain one and turn. We're going to work one petal at a time. This doesn't work in the round. We're going to work one petal at a time. And this sequence will be the same for every petal. In our very first stitch, I'm going to single crochet one, and then the next stitch is a single crochet, and the third stitch is a single crochet. So three single crochets, two half double crochets, do the yarn over, pull through all three, yarn over, pull through all three. And the next two stitches each get two double crochets. So go one double crochet in that stitch and another double crochet in that stitch. And the next stitch is just like it. So two double crochets in that stitch. So all the next stitches we're going to work in the back loops only. So I'm marking the front loop of the next stitch because I'm going to want to find this loop in a little bit. So I'm going to mark it and we are going to do two double crochets in the back loop only. So there's one double crochet and again in the back loop only two double crochets. We want to repeat that six times. So here's my second back loop only a double crochet and two double crochets. Here's the third one. Double, double. Here's the fourth one. Double, double. Number five, two double crochets. Double and there's the sixth one. Double, double. The next two stitches get a double crochet each. So there's my first double crochet in the back loop only, and there's the second one back loop only. Now we do the half double crochet back loop only. Two times. There's a half double crochet back loop only number one and number two. Again, it's a little sneaky with this itty bitty little hook. And then my last stitch is going to be a single crochet in the back loop only. my last stitch. I forgot. I need to mark it. I'm going to mark the front loop because I'm going to want to find that later. So I marked the front loop and I'm going to do a single crochet in that last stitch in the back loop only. So you can see we started out with single crochets, half double, and then we did doubles, and then half double crochets and single crochets. So kind of give it a little bit of a gradient here. Littler, it gets bigger and it gets littler again, just like a little pedal or a pinwheel would look. You want to slip stitch in that same stitch again so we can turn our work. So slip stitch and a chain one and turn our work and work the other direction. We're going to skip the slip stitch. So you skip that very first one. Skip the slip stitch. So we're going to start working in this one, second one right here. We're going to single crochet all of them. All the way around our petal again. 25 
and 26 single crochets all the way around again. Now we want to fold this over a little bit because we want to get to this stitch right here. So we just want to work into right here in the center ring there's two stitches from our original 23. We want to work in the one that's the furthest over here to the left. And we are going to slip stitch like that, just to hold down that end. Hold it down to the center a little bit so it keeps it with a little bit of an arc. Chain one and turn. Skip the slip stitch and double crochet everything all the way across. There's 24, 25, and 26 double crochets all the way around the petal again. I'm going to slip stitch into this first stitch down here just to anchor that a little bit and make it a little bit more round. Chain one and turn our work and as usual we're going to skip that slip stitch and now we're going to single crochet all the way across. 26 more single crochets across the top of the pedal or of the pinwheel. 25 and 26 single crochets. I want to slip stitch down into this, into the base again, down here where it's orange. I want to slip stitch into that again. I'm going to keep these corners a little bit rounded, like a petal or a pinwheel would look. chain one and turn and we're going to skip that slip stitch. We're almost done with this petal. So this is great. We're going to skip this slip stitch. We're going to slip stitch into the first or into the second one I guess since we're skipping that and then a chain and in the next one a slip stitch and a chain. Slip stitch and a chain. all the way to the end. Slip stitch and a chain. Slip stitch and chain in between every slip stitch. Between each slip stitch gets a chain. Here's my last couple stitches. Oh, that's my last one. Now that was a slip stitch and we are only do doing chains in between since there wasn't a slip stitch to be had because we're all out of stitches around this edge of the petal. Oops, all out of stitches here. The very end is not a slip stitch here, it's a slip stitch down into the original stitch that's still marked. Tiny yarn is a little tricky sometimes. Alright, now we're going to work back into these front loops that are left over from our back loops only. That's why we marked them because they're kind of hard to find sometimes. So those stitch markers are wonderful. We're just going to slip stitch into each one of these. All the way down from one stitch marker to the other. Slip stitch, slip stitch. There's number three. 10 and 11. There is our first petal. It's so cute. Petal number one. Right, to start the second petal, you're going to use exactly those same steps. We can take out our stitch markers now, but we're going to need them again for the next petal, so don't let them go too far away. Keep them close. 
All right, so then off to this side right here, there's their next chain eight. So we're going to do just like we did the first time. 12 single crochets in that chain eight space. 10, 11, and 12, just like we did the first time. And then we're going to move on to the double crochet post right here and do six around that. Just jump right in there. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and a slip stitch into the base of the, of the double crochet post. Now you continue on with the exact same stitches that we did here. All the way around. We'll do this eight times. So I'll meet you back here and we'll do pedal number eight or spoke for our pinwheel number eight. We'll do that together. All right, here we are. We're back at pedal number eight. So you can see that we've got floppy petals all over. But this is our very last one because this is an eight pattern or an eight petaled flower. So we want to do 12 single crochets in that eight, chain eight space. There's two, three, and 12. And then on our last double crochet post that hasn't been worked yet right here, jump right over and do six single crochets around that double crochet post. There's two, and there's number three, there's number four, five, and six, and then you slip stitch into the base of that double crochet post to anchor that petal down so it's not too floppy on the very bottom on the inside. All right, chain one and turn. We're going to skip that little slip stitch. So the first three are going to be single crochets. So there's one, two, and three, exactly like all of the other petals have been. Two half double crochets. One, two, And then the next two stitches, they each get two double crochets. So make a total of four over the next two stitches. There's my first stitch, two double crochets there, and two double crochet here. Now remember, we're going to start working in the back loops. So we're going to mark this front loop. So it's easy to find later because we're going to need that at the very, very end of this petal. So we mark the first loop. That back loop, we're working in the back loop only all the way back down again, gets two double crochets. And we make that happen six times. So here's number two with one single or one double crochet and two double crochets. And here's the third one. One double, two double. the fourth one, double, double. Here's my fifth one, back loop only, double, double. And number six, double and double. So those six stitches got two double crochets each. The next two just get a double crochet in the back loop only. Just the one double crochet in the back loop for this one and for this one. The next two, half double crochet in the back loop, 
half double crochet in the back loop. The very last one, right there, the very last stitch is in the back loop. Oopsie, I want to mark it though, because that front loop is going to disappear. I'm going to mark the front loop of the very last stitch. In the back loop, it gets a single crochet and this tiny yarn and these tiny stitches, you lose those loops very easily. Whew, there, we're almost done with our last loop or with our last petal. This is so great. And we want to slip stitch into the same stitch just to anchor this corner a little bit. Chain one and turn. Do not work into that slip stitch that we just did. We want to work into the next one over. So skip the slip stitch right here. Skip that first one and work into the second one. And we're going to single crochet all the way down. 26 and 25 and that itty bitty little stitch right here. 26. 26. Got it. All right, so there's our 26 single crochets. Now we want to get into your, the very this very center circle for our last time. Right here, there's these two loops right here, or these two stitches. I'm going to go into the furthest one away and do a slip stitch to keep the petal just a little bit bent. So there's our slip stitch. So that was the last stitch to be used on that inner ring. So we're going to chain one and turn and double crochet 26 of them all across. Skipping the slip stitch of course, but 26 double crochets all the way around the top of the petal. Just like we did on all the other seven, this is petal number eight. Two more. And there's our last, our last stitch. Slip stitch into this back loop of the one that's marked right here. The back loop and do another slip stitch. Chain one, turn our work single crochet, skipping the first, this one right here, that was our slip stitch. We want to skip that. We want to do single crochets all the way back down. There's my last stitch. See, it's so tiny and it gets so tight. There's number 26 right there. I'm going to slip stitch down into the bottom right here to keep the petal a bit rounded. Chain one, skip the slip stitch in the second one. Here we're going to slip stitch and chain. Slip stitch and chain. Remember there's a slip stitch and a chain in between every slip stitch all the way down slip stitch and chain. And there's my last stitch right there. It's tiny. Slip stitch. We're going to work into these little back bumps again. These are the front loops left over from your back, back loop only. Jump in here to the first one that's marked and do a slip stitch. And in the all the way down, I'm going to take him out now. Got that one slip stitched. And there will be 11. So that was number one, there's number two. All the way back to the other stitch marker. See how hard those are to see? I'm so glad I marked them. So very happy that I marked these stitches because they're really tiny stitches working with the two and a half millimeter so 
they have a tendency to hide. Ten. And there's number eleven. You can take that stitch marker out. And the only thing left to do is a slip stitch right here at the base of the double crochet post right there. Double crochet, or that's just a slip stitch. And finish off. Now you just finagle these any way you want, however you want them to be. But they're folded over in the center. So we did that little slip stitch in the ring here to keep this part bent. So they didn't bend it flat. You want them to stay bent. Yay, pinwheel! So my last part, other than weaving in my ends, is if this is long enough, hopefully it is, make this tighten this up as much as we possibly can and get a needle. And we are going to add our toggle. Make sure you choose a needle that will go through the hole of your button. Any button will do. I want to use a toggle because I want it to be skinny. I just want it to be little. So hopefully this is long enough. This is our original tail right here at the center. I'm just going to kind of whip stitch this on here any way you wish to get this toggle button in place. button in the back. I'll weave in this end really quick. Do this any way you want, but I will do that so I can have a finished flower to show you. This part you can do any way you wish. It's very easy. Any way you like to weave in your ends will work. So here's the front of our pinwheel. Fan these out however you want them to be. Here's the back. You can see this is where we started the very first time with our eight bases for our petals. We worked one petal at a time. So now I have a gorgeous little pinwheel. And when I take my hat, take my cool Mobius twist bucket hat right here. The reason I like to use a toggle button is because I want to go in between these stitches anywhere you want you can with a toggle. So I'm going to put it, just put it right through here, push it right through some of my Suzette stitches on the front bendy thing. Front bendy down brim. So cute. So here it is. There's my beautiful bucket hat with the Mobius twist on the brim and my pinwheel accent and I think this is just adorable. It was really fun to design. Hopefully you enjoy it too. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel. Please tell all your friends about Thimblehooks and stop back again soon. I have some really great stuff coming up. Thanks. Bye.